So for today, we're going to be looking at the raid armor set pieces for the hunters. If you guys haven't seen my raid armor review, I'll have it up right now. This we go over the raid armor, how it looks, how it shaders. We also bring a new segment where we go through each of the individual pieces in game. So that way you guys can see my honest opinions on it. And just overall, we it's a pretty good view in my personal opinion, um, not biased at all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But for this one, we're going to be looking at just a few pieces, literally the helmet the arms and the boots that's it we are only doing three pieces for each of the classes because quite honestly that was the best i could do because i hate this armor and you guys can hear more about it in the armor review video because i completely demolish this armor i hate this armor i think it looks bad the three pieces that i do use though i do think are genuinely cool so let me know which piece is your favorite and other than that let's get into it so the first set we're going to be using the helmet. This one I ended up just throwing into my hive themed look because I do think it looks really cool. Granted, I've seen some people do some dope shit with this. I've seen someone do a uh, Chinese uh, infiltrator from Fallout 4, 3, from the Fallout universe essentially. And it looked amazing. If I can find a picture, I'll post it right now and I'll obviously, obviously have their name up. But if I can't find it, it's I just I have a hard time remembering where I saw it because it was either in Muffin Bandit's Discord slash video or Crips video slash Discord. I just don't remember off the top of my head. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely pin it so that way you guys can know. But for this one, we're going to be using the uh, sealed Ahamkara grass just because I really like to combine this with bone pieces, which we're also using the Dark Hollow Chitin and Twisting Echo Strides. And then for the cloak, we're using lichen cloak just because I really like to combine that with the uh, with with the bone look, just because I feel like fur and bone look really cool together. Nothing too much to talk about for this one. We're using in silvered snare because if you guys don't know, the helmet actually has uh, like an orange glow that doesn't change color. And to bypass that, we're using in silvered snare so that way it just can give me like a complete silver slash like almost platinum look. So that's why we're using the pieces we're using. Nothing too much to explain about this one because I've made sets using a lot of these pieces in multiple videos. But for this one, I just wanted something simple and clean because again, the helmet's super dope. And again, people have been doing some dope shit with the helmet so much so that I probably will make more videos with the helmet just because it does look that cool. As for the arms, this one I showcased in my unyielding favor video pieces hunter thing that I made. I'll have it up right now. It is the unyielding pieces video for the hunter. There we go and it was really cool i really like this set it actually got showcased in one of crips no it was uh muffin bandits video i'll have it up right now really cool really uh humbling and it's yeah i really like the set it's super dope uh i kind of went with a whole like white turning to black kind of thing but in a different way so for the chess piece we're using gift of the nine with the gift of the nine for the boots as well because i want those two to have the same white color because the arms are going to be cryptic insignia to combine it with the black for the like jackets like slide on the on the sides and my my thought process was my hunter's wearing a jacket that's what he's wearing that's why um the arms are black and then some of the chest piece is black and then for the helmet we're using uh, the cathardi filigree ornament for the celestial nighthawk definitely super dope i changed the shader to erebos glance just because it's the better black shader and then for the shader for the cloak, we're using time honored cloak um, because I have not found a good shader that turns it all black. That being said, I don't think I tried Aerobus uh, Glance, so I probably will try that out. Unfortunately, though, uh, I think time honored is just still the best one because it gives you a very neutral color for the glow. And if I remember correctly, Aerobus Glance has a like orange glow, so that will probably wouldn't look good. So I love a lot of these pieces. A lot of these pieces are super fucking cool. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, we're using the boots with some of the coolest shit. So let me, okay, let's just get into this one. I don't know what I'm going for in this one. I just think it looks super, super cool. For the helmet Omnic, Omnioculus mask with the Exodus Dawn cloak is a good combination because uh, if you guys don't know, Exodus uh, Down cloak has orange lines that don't change color on the actual hood. So if you can turn the hood off, which is what I'm doing with Omnioculus mask, the actual cloak looks so good because again, it almost like that collar thing is super, super cool. 
um for the boots obviously we're using the raid boots but then we're using regal daring for the chest piece and the helmet and the boots as well because i didn't notice that the regal daring actually gives you a really good black and i didn't want to use the other black color that i usually use which is the uh cryptic insignia because honestly i didn't want to have blue in here because the unyielding ornament for the uh, Oath Keepers has that yellow color that doesn't change color. And I just decided I, I at least want to like retain that yellow somehow. And fortunately, Regal Daring for the crystals has that yellow. And that was enough for me to be like, that's fine. I've done my job. And then also the great thing is Regal Daring has red in there as well. So it also showcases that red that has like the red moon on the actual arms. For the chest piece, Mystios vest uh, was a choice I made. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the choice that I... Let's, let's just get this out of the way. I'm really happy with how this looks. So much so that I actually would consider this like an actual look for my uh, Oath Keepers. <clears throat> because it just looks that good. The only thing, and I could probably say this is a nitpick. The only thing I would probably change is the shader for the Omnioculus. Um, probably something a little bit more black, but still that holds like some yellow in there. But overall, not a bad set. Like for me, not a bad set at all. I definitely think these boots look really cool with this set. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Honestly, I think a lot of the armor sets just or pieces look really not good. I don't like the chest piece for it. I don't like the cloak for it as well. I think the cloak is actually the worst piece from the all, from everyone. But I do think the boots, the arms, and the helmet are very usable. Like you can use them in a lot of cool sets. So. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you coming up to this point. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.